do right now. Hockey 101, sponsored by Seatown Electric Plumbing, Heating, and Air. So the Seattle Kraken on the road, taking on Anaheim tonight. They face the Mighty Ducks, and a lot of excitement as the Kraken launched their first NHL season, but some fans aren't super familiar with the game just yet. I've played hockey my entire life. So this morning, we continue our Hockey 101 series to help the casual fan understand the basics better, and today we explore one of the most fundamental aspects of the game, skating. Walking in, shot, glove save, low score! Ryan Donato has the first goal in Seattle cracking history. There's nothing like live NHL hockey. It is the fastest game in the world. It's a game of speed, grace, physicality, talent, grit, you name it, it it's all encompassing. The level of speed, strength, and skill is astounding. For Wimber, rebound, score! And it all happens right here on a quarter inch blade. To be a good hockey player, you need to be a great skater. So you're trying to transfer your weight and create power from your legs. So first out and you snap your toe off, you recover underneath, out and you're barely touching and skimming the surface of the ice. Powerful strides, sharp edges, crossovers, and snowplow stops. Sorry. It's a game that requires players to skate backwards just as nimbly as they do forward, and they're moving fast. It's anywhere from 15 and some of the top players in the NHL move up to 25 miles an hour. And it's exhausting, so they don't stay on the ice for long. Players take shifts and change on the fly. The average NHL shift is only 47 seconds long. Now, when you're playing hockey, the skating becomes second nature because you're also handling the puck. We'll explore that aspect of the game next time on Hockey 101.